In honor of one of our favorite television shows, Avatar The Last Airbender, we've decided to do a look that um, is based on one of our favorite tribes, the Water Tribe. <laughs> These are the products that I use to create this look. All right, so we're gonna start off with some Urban Decay Primer Potion. I always feel like doing makeup on someone's eye, I know we've mentioned much is different than doing it on your own eye, but also because people's eyelid skin is different than your own skin. Yeah, your eyelid skin is way different than my eyelid skin. <laughs> Science. This video got weird real fast. <laughs> so I'm gonna use uh, pretty much entirely the Cinderella Sephora palette. It is so pretty, and I'm showing you the case for no other reason other than the fact that it's really, really pretty. So I'm starting with a base called A Wish to sort of just give a good palette in which to mix into it. And I'm going to go in with a white because it's nice and sparkly. And water is sparkly sometimes. <laughs> you bending? <laughs> what you bending? Makeup artist bending. <laughs> Everyone's the worst. <laughs> You're at the top of the list. I'm the best. Now, guys, stop I'm fighting. Not here. I win. All right, the next color I'm going to use is called Royal, and it's a gorgeous royal blue because water's blue. <laughs> Science. Christina's eyes look really good in blue eyeshadow. I never wear blue eyeshadow because I don't think my eyes look great in blue eyeshadow. But that's probably just a perception thing. My eyes probably look great in blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I bet myself a dollar that you weren't gonna say blue eyeshadow again and then you said it two more times. <laughs> I owe myself two dollars. Yeah. Not that funny, Christina. You just think I'm funny. No, that's your own fault. No, that's not what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to go into glass slippers. This one. To sort of lighten up the crease area. So, I think I got a lot of good blue on there. Feels like a substantial amount of blue. Water makes up a lot of the world and almost all of your body. So, might as well <laughs> blow the eyebrows. <laughs> to the eyebrows. <laughs> the rationale of a crazy person. I think that well, looks pretty watery to me, so I'm gonna go with it. So, I'm just gonna blend a little bit less stabby, hopefully. Now referring back to the water tribe symbol which Katara wears in a gorgeous necklace, um, we are going to add a little swirl to the edge of the liner of this makeup and we're going to start with a white NYX jumbo pencil. Jumbo pencil. I said jumble. We are going to line right along the lash in this white and we're going to take this up out. I'm going to line this eye from the outside in. And then I'm going to get a little dot of white right in the corner of the eye to open up the eye. So now I'm going to take this lovely Sephora um, blue eyeliner and give a little outline to the wave to make it a little more distinctive. Right, this, is, this is gonna be complicated. I'm gonna be really silent during this, I think. Espionage Cosmetics, uh, the Night's Watch color, and go into the corners of her eye and sort of blend out. The Night's Watch is like, you know, in the ice and stuff, so it, they're like water tribe people. The Night's Watch is the water tribe of Game of Thrones. This is a really, really gorgeous color. And the last part of this eye makeup is taking a little bit of white, again going with ball gown. These colors are so precious. Blending out a bit of the wave into some ocean foam. 
we are going to finish off this look with some mascara. You know what? Screw it. I'm going with the blue mascara. Ain't no one gonna hold Liz down. So, um, actually, yeah, just keep your eyes half open. Oh! <laughs> water. <laughs> it's like a water. Right, when I thought I was doing so good. It's always, it's always in these epic adventure TV shows like Avatar where they're thinking they're doing so good in which some disaster befalls them. They end up in prison or something. Fire Nation prison. I'm going to keep the rest of this look really fresh face. I'm just, I'm just gonna be using this color right here of this BH Cosmetics palette. So this is going to be put right along the cheekbone to contour just a little bit and give her some color. And then just for fun, a little bright pink on the apple. Because, you know, we are sort of basing this look off of a cartoon. It's cold. It's, yeah, you know what? what Over the glaciers. Yeah. And last but not least, we're using this Stila um, Coconut Crush Lip Stain. It's a nice color. <laughs> the tickles. <laughs> We're almost through this, Christina! <laughs> You'd be so much better at talking if you finished your sentences. <laughs> Sometimes they're not worth finishing. What? I started singing Les Mis. It's totally inappropriate timing. Go ahead! Do you want to finish? Yeah. Yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking of a thing to say. Done! <laughs> <laughs> so there we have a lovely look inspired by the Water Tribe. So there you have it. Here is the gorgeous look. I say gorgeous because I made it, so <laughs> I like it. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please like and comment down below. And if you have any suggestions for future looks that we should do from different movies or TV shows or other cartoons that you like, also let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Water bending.